Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. So in this one we have another Pirates of Caribbean Tides of War video. I'm gonna in this one I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do things easier when you first start out. How to save yourself some, uh, save some, save some time in the end and uh, a lot of resources and things like that. Alright, so when you guys first start out you're going to get uh, basic amount of resources and speed ups and things like that and you're gonna have to go through a little tutorial thing which should get you to around five if you do all of it and then after that you're pretty much on your own building and all that so obviously the first thing you want to do is find yourself a alliance which if you guys want to you can come join me and uh, we do have a pretty good base set up so far and you should get a decent amount of helps and all that other good stuff a decent amount of little alliance gifts which, you, which if you guys did not know by now, Alliance Gifts are found right here. You can just click that. And if you have any, you can uh, just open them all up. Alright, so anyways. Uh, back to what I was saying. Some stuff that will help you. Getting into an Alliance early on will really help you, especially a very active one that pushes helps all the time, because up to about 10 or so, uh, maybe even a little higher than that, helps will pretty much complete almost everything that you have besides a few researches and a few uh, key buildings that are a little bit bigger than others. But other than that, the helps will pretty much complete all that good stuff. Alright, so alliance is very important early on. Now other things that will help you that most people don't really pay attention to if you guys have training, uh, weapon production, research, a building going, anything that has a little timer like this going, you can actually pick up, if you guys are in an alliance, you can actually pick up one of these little people. Whoops, how did I get there? But you can throw them in the water if you want to and make them swim around. But anyways, you can pick up these little people and throw them on whatever you have that has little timers and it will take off some time from it and he's like a little speed up so that's a little tip for you guys if you are starting out that will help you out quite a bit that will save you some speed ups and that will help you in the long run so yeah you just pick them up throw them on your little things that need time and there you go alright so other things that will help you when you first start out uh, you can look at this when you start out you're gonna have like little login rewards and you're gonna get some of those but after that it turns into one day rewards so every 24 hours you will get something like for me I get uh, 300 gold and some voyage speed ups in 19 hours and then it changes every uh, every day so that will help you out a little bit make sure you guys collect that now also there is this daily event that goes on it changes every day well this time well the PvP event lasts for three days actually but all these other ones they last for a day and if you guys are paying attention when these come around you can kill a few monsters you can uh, trade a few times or you can collect some resources very easy early on in the game you can even train a few pirates and if you guys can place in the top 100 you will get somewhat of a uh, reward. If you can get top 20 you will get a pretty decent reward and uh, yeah so if you guys are paying attention when this stuff comes around you can get a little bit of a reward if uh, you guys do that when they're active. Now as far as the PvP event when you guys first start you're not going to be able to uh, participate in that very well uh, obviously when you first start but once you get um, maybe 10 plus you might be able to go around and burn a few people but other than that you're not really going to be able to play in this a whole lot until you upgrade a little bit alright so you can get a little bit of rewards from that so that'll help you out a little bit and um, after all these playthroughs these play in like a sequence you go through this one that one that one that one and then finally that one then when all that is over whoever scored the most in all of these well whoever scored some in all of these will be put on the global leaderboards that you can see down here. I'm currently ranked 17. I didn't really participate in the first few. But anyways, if you guys participate a little bit in all these, you'll have some points uh, stacked up and you can be on the global leaderboards and that will allow you to get another, uh, another prize if you guys 
are placing high enough. And here's here's a uh, example of some of the prizes that you can get, especially if you place top three, you're going to get a massive reward in gold and stuff. So yeah, if you guys pay attention to the events, you can get a little bit out of it. Placing top 100 is pretty easy to at least get to uh, top 90, but to get it a little lower is a little bit more challenging, but you can get some out of that. So pay attention to those guys, they can help you out. All right. Uh, let's see what else so obviously uh, you guys should notice from the tutorials you do have quests down here this is going to be kind of like your lifeline up to a certain point uh, these are going to pretty much pay for all your buildings and everything and then after that you're going to have to farm and all that but up until that point these are a very good way to level so if you guys go down through here you can see all the quests that you have to do and if you complete them, you're going to get some resources, you're going to get some XP for your hero. Uh, well, Captain, I'm too, I'm too used to Game of War, but whatever. Uh, you got uh, some speed-ups from some of them, and then sometimes you'll get a special reward for some of them. And then you also have Daily Quest. And this is going to uh, restart every day, and you can do the quest itself and get a few resources and some... Uh, points for your global event and uh, you get these other rewards up here that are little bonus things which I can't look at those but anyway you can go over here essence of the sea which is what you need to actually upgrade the black pearl so you have to do those to upgrade your pearl uh, you have your second class privateer license which I think that is what you need to attack an empire it's either that or merchant ship I forget which one that goes for but either way, that's going to be a good way to get some resources or uh, silver. And then you get a... That is for the uh, attack and a merchant ship, and the other one's for an empire. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Uh, be sure you guys do your quest, and then you have your achievements over here. This is a good way to get gold, especially er early on. After that, it gets a little bit more challenging, but you can still get a little bit of gold from doing this. And you just go down through here and earn different achievements, like uh, you get one for reaching 5 million power. I'm not there yet, but I will soon, and that will give you 250 gold. It's not a whole lot, but it will help if you guys do try to complete some of these. Alrighty. So, uh, hmm. That's about it for now, guys. Uh, there is a, well, you can go in here, treasures. If you guys have killed enough monsters and unlocked some of this stuff, uh, you can get some construction time decreases, and you can get a little bit of resources out of this. Other than that, it's just uh, PvP stuff, like uh, voyage speed, a ship attack, and survival rate for your pirates. But that is another thing that you can do. Uh... When you first start out, this is very helpful. You got your dice game that's going to give you some resources. I went over this in another video, but this is kind of a tip for you guys to do early on. Later on, it's not as helpful, but it is something to uh, do and get a little bit of resources. And then you have your barter system, your marketplace, where you can come in here and trade your silver, gold, resources, all that for speed ups or whatever you need. And you can reset it if you don't see what you want. If you don't like that, you can reset it again. But yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helps some of you guys when you first start out. Um, be sure to get an alliance, guys, and wait for those helps. Those will help you out a little bit, especially if you can save some speeds on it. Uh, if you guys do those events, at the end of the week, you could get quite a big payout if you uh, participated at least a little bit. Uh, if you guys use these little guys, that is some more speeds that you can save, and that will help you out in the long run. And be sure to do your quest, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps, and I will see you in the next one. Also, if you guys like what I'm doing here, please hit the subscribe button, like, and share it. And if you guys wanted to come join me, I made another video right before this, and you guys can go check that out. It will explain how you actually jump servers. It explains how you uh, will be able to find my alliance and be able to join it, and all that good stuff. So if you guys wanted to actually come and play with me, 
and uh, be part of the alliance and do some fun stuff uh, you guys can get to that fairly easy and yeah so again thanks for watching the video guys hopefully this will help some of you guys and I look forward to seeing some of you in the game and we can have a lot of fun thanks for watching see you later